What I will talk to you about is uh, enteric viral infections, um, concentrating mainly on the on two pathogens that, that cause most relevant disease today, that is rotavirus and norovirus. We know enteric viruses since um, the early 1970s. We know that there are more than eight viruses that can cause acute diarrhea. And we know that acute diarrhea remains to be a leading cause of uh, morbidity uh, in children, especially under three years of age, and in the, le the less developed regions of the world of mortality. Uh, second, in, after pneumonia, uh, causing over 500,000 deaths around the world. And of those pathogens that cause most of the disease, uh, the viruses are most relevant. And of those, you know, these eight viruses that, uh, or, or so that have been described, uh, rotavirus uh, was recognized quite a long time ago as the number one pathogen, causing somewhere from 30 to 50% of the moderate to severe acute diarrhea cases around the world. Fortunately, we now have a rotavirus vaccine that has been in use around the world now since 2006. And the experience is showing wherever it's being used that it's producing a very significant reduction of rotavirus disease impact in medical consultations, hospitalizations, and in those areas where children die, deaths due to uh, gastrointestinal infection and due to rotavirus. So um, the increased uptake of vaccination around the world is having a very significant impact in, re in reducing the burden of rotavirus disease. The pathogen now that is arising as the new leader is norovirus. Um, norovirus also was discovered in the 1970s. It's, it's well recognized as a virus that causes outbreaks of gastroenteritis in cruise ships, in schools, in colleges, where adults and children are compromised. Uh, it can cause small or very large outbreaks, in, uh, including hundreds of people. And it's mostly related to consumption of uh, contaminated food, mainly vegetables or seafood, or actually any food, or contaminated water. Well. We know that um, we can decrease the risk of these viruses by improving um, hand washing, which is very important, by improving environmental health, by improving food safety. But we're also working on the development of a norovirus vaccine. Um, there's still a long way to go. This is a, not an easy vaccine to develop. This is a virus that we cannot culture and we cannot grow like we can grow rotavirus. We cannot yet grow norovirus. So um, the development of norovirus vaccine has been based on um, genetic bioengineering, creating um, viral capsids, very similar, actually identical to the technology that has been used for the human papillomavirus vaccine. And these vaccine candidates now are in phase one to phase two trials, and hopefully we'll move into a phase two or three trials in infants during 2017. So it is possible that we may have, if things go well, a norovirus vaccine maybe in three to four more years. So we just need to continue to work and wait, but hopefully we'll have a new solution for another enteric pathogen in the near future.